and analysts anticipate a major Bitcoin supply shock heading into April's halving as BTC is down by nearly 10% since ETF approval. And Bitcoin's supply dynamics have significantly changed since the SEC approved spot Bitcoin ETFs earlier this month. The leading token has been largely volatile in the past few weeks. This volatility has remained within a very narrow price range. BTC's price has fluctuated between 41000 and 44000 dropping below $41,500 today, the lowest price in 30 days. And would attribute these short price movements to supply dynamics driven by the ETF market. Since yesterday, according to data from Arkham Intelligence, Grayscale has transferred over a billion dollars worth of ABTC to Coinbase from its ETF fund. With other major funds contributing to this massive inflow of around five to 7,000 BTC daily, to their custodian exchanges, only 900 BTC is being lined daily. An insane supply shock incoming. If we keep up, massive BTC ETF inflows will have thousands being bought up daily, but only 900 BTC mined daily. People aren't grasping how incredibly massive the supply shock will be. Buckle up and see how frothy this gets. And despite this, a record percentage of BTC supply remains. Uh, because of the unique supply dynamics of Bitcoin, analysts are predicting um, that the leading token might experience major supply cycle illiquidity before the halving, which may result in a supply shock. Uh, despite the launch of ETFs presenting an opportunity to sell the news, uh, most hodlers, unsurprisingly, have not done so. So a record percent of the BTC supply remains untouched. The new demand from ETFs that will come slowly, not all at once. We'll be met with incredible. Uh, there are hundreds of millions of dollars in being sent uh, from Grayscale Daily to Coinbase to be sold. Uh, insane, legitimate supply being dumped on the market and remains stable. It's pretty incredible. And at the same time, although slowly, we're already seeing BTC supply shrink in the past week. Bitcoin supply has declined from 19.6 million to 19.4 million. Historically, the token's dock supply has never shrunk heading into a halving. Uh, just months away from, from the next halving, the ETF market is rapidly growing, and the market might see some major price movements in the next few months. Um, Bitcoin has already become the second largest uh, uh, ETF commodity in the U.S., uh, surpassing silver. Um, which indicates uh, growing involvement from traditional uh, institutes. Um, in all of these factors could translate into one of the most intriguing and unpredictable havens the market has seen since the inception of crypto.